one good thing has come from the Framing Britney documentary, an apology from Justin Timberlake, not only to Britney Spears but Janet Jackson too for his past treatment of the stars. In a statement to fans, Justin admitted that as a white male in the industry, he has benefited and will be doing better, while of course others like Britney Spears and Janet Jackson have suffered. The documentary explores his relationship with Britney Spears and the bitter breakup, with Justin used to his advantage. Fans have accused him of using public humiliation to further his own career by hiring a Britney lookalike in his video Crimea River to make it seem like she had cheated on him. New York Times critic Wesley Morris referenced Justin's Crimea River music video explaining how provocative scenes provided assumptions about what went on behind closed doors to create a tabloid buzz at Britney's expense. The way people treated her to be very high school about it was like she was a school slut and he was the school quarterback. He essentially weaponizes a video for one of his singles to incriminate her in the demise of their relationship, said Morris. While Dave Holmes, a former MTV video jockey, agreed, Justin sort of made it seem rightly or wrongly like she had cheated on him. It really seemed like he took control of the narrative. Justin has also come under fire for his response to the 2004 controversy, which led to Janet Jackson becoming cancelled while his career flourished. During a Super Bowl halftime performance, Justin had ripped off Janet's bodice with the intention of flashing her bra but accidentally exposed more of her live on TV to an audience of millions. Janet was forced to apologise numerous times, was banned from attending the Grammy Awards and saw her music blacklisted by multiple stations. Her career never fully recovered while Justin was invited to perform at the Super Bowl again in 2018. After receiving backlash, he finally took to Instagram apologising. His apology reads, I've seen the messages, tags, comments and concerns and I want to respond. I am deeply sorry for the times in my life where my actions contributed to the problem, where I spoke out of turn or did not speak up for what was right. I understand that I fell short in these moments and in many others and benefited from a system that condones misogyny and racism. He went on, I specifically want to apologise to Britney Spears and Janet Jackson both individually because I care for and respect these women and I know I failed. I also feel compelled to respond in part because everyone involved deserves better and most importantly because this is a larger conversation that I wholeheartedly want to be part of and grow from. He went on to address the most specific issue within the music industry calling it flawed stating it sets men especially white men up for success it's designed this way he explained as a man in a privileged position I have to be vocal about this because of my ignorance I didn't recognize it was all that it was for a while it was happening in my own life but I do not want to ever benefit from others being pulled down again. I have not been perfect in navigating all of this throughout my career. I know this apology is a first step and doesn't absolve the past. I want to take accountability for my own missteps in all of this as well as part of a world that uplifts and supports. Justin finished his message with, I care deeply about the well-being of the people I love and have loved. I can do better and I will do better. Justin's wife Jessica Bale responded to Justin's apology with an I love you in the comment section. It is good of Justin to finally apologise after receiving pressure from fans but as he himself points out it doesn't absolve the past and the damage he did to Britney and Janet are not things that can be easily fixed. However it would seem Britney is the bigger person and willing to leave the past where it is. A source exclusively told Us Weekly Britney does not hold a grudge against Justin over anything he's said or done. She feels that they were young and in love and both did stupid things when they were together. She was heartbroken when they separated but it's not something she dwells on now. She's happy and happy for him. If the source is believable then it is nice to see Britney move on. Tell us what you think. Thanks for watching. Have it all daily. Please like, share and subscribe and check out our website for more.